morning, T-Birds. It is October 26th. I'm Jalen Guardado. And I'm Sophia Pilot. And, and you're, you're watching, watching CTV. reflect on their very last games. Here's Italy with more on the story. As they progress through the senior year, Coronado athletes look to finish strong. Um, I've been working harder this year because I know it's my last year playing, and especially after I've been playing for six years, and each game is more sentimental due to the fact that um, this is like leading up to the last game that I'll ever play with these girls and these teammates that I've had for the past three years. I'm trying to just approach it with like the most positive aspect I can have even if it's not our best season. I'm still looking forward to just um, having the funnest time I can with my team. This season I really just want to finish strong. Um, it's my last season. I've been working with my teammates for four years now. Um, trying to win a district championship really just go out with a bang and finish strong. I feel like I've grown the most in serve, receive and defense since freshman year because the level of competition and the level of play has increased throughout um, my years of playing here at Coronado. I've probably grown the most in my relationship with my teammates. Um, when we first started out, we all really didn't know each other because we all came from different schools, but as years have gone by, we've really grown close and um, really formed like, great bonds and have become really close. Yeah. I've grown the most in leadership. Um, I was a captain last year and I'll be a captain this year. And just as far as being able to lead by example um, and kind of step up for my team. Though they're excited, it's a bittersweet feeling. I'm going to miss um, all of my teammates, especially since I've been playing with them since sophomore year. Um, and just every time, every lunch, every time hanging out with everybody because we would see them every day. And that's probably what I'm going to miss about the season. I'm going to miss um, just having my teammates and just being in a team because I know in college I probably won't play soccer or any other sports. So. Um, I'll probably miss just having my team. Don't forget to go support your athletes out in the field and in the court. This has been Italy Pacheco with CTV. Back to you. The library has opened up new opportunities for students to showcase their talent. Lauren gives us an inside look. Librarians have started a new activity for students who would like to show off their unique talents. Open mic is a chance for students and faculty and staff to <clears throat> come share their talents, be it singing, poetry, playing musical instruments, all kinds. We had a stand-up comedian, all kinds of different talents. The outcome was outstanding. We were so impressed. We had almost 20 performers, and it went from bell to bell the entire lunch period. One was about a, a sad boy to a friend that's being bullied, and um, how he's telling his friend how he needs help. So I did like a stand-up comedy routine, and I kind of made a jokes on the West Side Bowl and just generally starting off in high school at Coronado. So I'm definitely planning on performing again. I, it was a great experience and I really enjoyed it. Listen for all announcements in the morning and for dates on when the mics will be held. This has been Lauren Gloss with CTV. The football team has faced some recent struggles, but they hope to end their district play strong. Here's Campbell Bowden. After a tough loss against Franklin on Thursday night, the T-Birds are keeping their heads up and looking forward to the upcoming season. For the rest of the season, I'm preparing by um, just working hard just to finish it through, mainly just working with my teammates, uh, trying to get more chemistry with each other. Uh, I learned a lot of things just to stay together, because if you fight with your team, it's just going to make it worse. Um, coming off a loss, I feel like we come up stronger, because we just keep pushing ourselves forward and we see more things we could improve on getting beat so bad. Well, we just got to keep on working harder. You know, um, it's a tough loss anytime you lose a game, but um, the kids are resilient. I think we'll be okay this week against the Coral. We just got to keep working hard. You know, we've had a pretty successful season so far, so we're not going to change a lot of things. We just got to improve um, staying healthy and, and uh, making sure that we do the things we need to do to compete at this level. Um, I think we could come back by just putting it behind us, you know, like, we had a lot of good things happen at Franklin, just nothing was really clicking, so we just need to put it behind us and move forward to the next game. Um, we're preparing by mostly just 
practicing, getting prepared for all the other teams that we're facing, especially if we make it a playoffs. Despite the tough loss, the T-Birds are looking ahead to finishing this season strong. This has been Campbell Bowden reporting from